You know, Ann, sitting here in the studio and watching these pictures, um, I don't know about you, but I, I think about my family. I know you think about yours. And you think about the people that are at home right now that are really worried mm -hmm. and are scared and for with themselves, good, good reason. for their children. Um, I guess all that we can say is stay in your homes. For goodness sakes, don't go out. Don't try to get near any of this. Um, don't call 911 unless it's a dire emergency because they're probably overloaded. What is going on in L.A. must and will stop. As your president, I guarantee you this violence will end. There have been many civil disruptions in American history, but the Los Angeles riots were among the most devastating. In property damage alone, the total was estimated to be around $1 billion. Over a thousand buildings were damaged, and the people who had worked hard for their entire lives lost their businesses in just several days. All of this chaos resulted from a protest over police brutality and racism, which ended up spiraling out of control. But I'm going to spare you the exact details. This video isn't going to be a history lesson. Instead, I want to focus on an area that was perhaps targeted the most in the riots. Koreatown. This district was mainly populated by Korean immigrants, who generally kept to themselves because of cultural differences. But to other LA residents, the Koreans came off as arrogant, which made them an easy target for the rioters. As the mobs were storming the area, the Koreatown shop owners realized that they were in trouble. To make the situation even worse, when they called the police and fire departments for help, no one answered. At this moment, people in Koreatown were left with two choices. The first would be to just take everything and leave. It was the safest option and most shop owners did this, but many of them would later have their properties burned to the ground. The alternative choice would be to stay put and protect the business from the rioters. This was extremely risky as the store owners would be significantly outnumbered by the mob, not to mention some of the rioters were armed with deadly weapons. Despite all of the potential danger, a select few were actually willing to risk their lives and defend their businesses. These shop owners refused to become victims. People are driving by shooting at us and we have to do something about it. We have no police support whatsoever. They were widely publicized in the news for their bravery and are known on the internet as the rooftop Koreans. But the shop owners weren't going into this empty handed. Being Korean immigrants, all of them have had several years of military experience. Their home country requires mandatory service from all able-bodied men. In preparation for the riots, they barricaded their stores and called over friends, family, and other employees. All of them were armed with weapons and ready to defend their livelihoods. Soon enough, Koreatown became a war zone. I couldn't believe that these guys had actually pulled out loaded guns, but they were. They're bullets flying all over. And here you, here you can see, this is where they see the cars pull up and they start to shoot back. And they start to take cover, realizing, I think, what they had started there. But, uh, the spots near the Korean stores were so dangerous that barely any news reporters were willing to film it. This clip was the only one I can find that actually showed how crazy the situation was. In reality, many other areas in Koreatown were also under a lot of pressure. According to some of the store owners, the police fled the scene as soon as bullets started firing. Imagine being in a situation where even the law enforcement is too scared to intervene. Most of the rioters knew that people were too afraid to stop them, which means they were free to take and destroy as much as they wanted. Stop it. Get some help. But needless to say, no one dared to go near any of the armed Koreans. Even if they did, the rioters wouldn't be able to match up against people with actual military experience. With all this being said, I shouldn't gloss over the fact that the LA riots were unpleasant for everyone. There were countless casualties, and the reported damages far exceeded any other riot. But for the rooftop Koreans, their resilience and bravery paid off.